Hello boys and girls, it's Dr. Adeshino. Today I'm going to show you a very easy way to remember Salter Harris Fracture Classification. A lot of students have trouble with this, but it's really, really easy. Let's break it down to the basics. First, there's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And you just have to know the parts of the bone. The top part is the metaphysis, the growth place is the physis, and epiphysis is the basically outermost part of the bone. Now, Salter Harris 1 is basically a slipped fracture where the bone basically slipped a little bit uh, and that's actually Salter Harris 1. It's still it's a separation through the growth plate. It's got excellent prognosis and can be managed non-operatively. Type 2 however is above the growth plate. See A so we're going to spell Salter out. We already spelled slipped a is above the growth plate, so this is the growth plate, above you get that fracture above the growth plate, that is type 2 Salter Harris fracture, okay, it's a fracture through a portion of the physis, all right, through the, through the growth plate and up into the metaphysis, okay, has excellent prognosis, can be managed non-operatively, no operations. Type 3 is low, right? Lower than the growth plate, below the growth plate. So this is the growth plate, lower than the growth plate. So it's a fracture through the physis, goes through the growth plate, and also through the epiphysis. That is type 3. Type 4 is through the growth plate. So what we have here is we got a fracture that cuts across through the metaphysis, physis, and the epiphysis. That is type 4 fracture. And last but not least is Type 5. Type 5 is ER, erasure of the growth plate. So, you know, there's always a growth plate. When you don't see the growth plate in there anymore, that is ER, Salter, S A L T E R, erasure of the growth plate. Type 3 is often unstable. Type 4 is prone to limb discrepancies. And type 5 is also prone to limb length discrepancies, right? Because what happens if you erase the growth place, this is a problem for the child to grow. As it, they're growing older, their limb is not going to be equal, right? One leg is going to be uh, longer than the other. Also, in type 4, the same thing can happen because as you're breaking through the epiphysis, epiphysis the physis, and the metaphysis. But the key diff important thing, as you can see here, is we, can, we just spell S-A-L-T. ER, Sol turn, okay, type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very, very easy. Another easy way I do it, I just write numbers through these fractures. All right, if this works for you, perfect. This is how I write numbers. I can write number 1, see that? That's like a number 1, kind of going through. This is how I write number 2. This is number 2, Sol to Harris 2. This is how I write number 3, upside down. And this is how I write my number four. So the higher is four and five is one of those that it's kind of hard to, but you just kind of have to put your imagination in there. That's how I write my numbers to also salt the higher is one, two, three, four, five. Whichever of these techniques works for you, you can use it, get baby points on all those pediatric questions they love to test you on. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to watch more high yield USML videos, Please visit us on smashusmle.com and to be able to look at all these hundreds of videos to be able to succeed on the board. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you learned a lot. Are you studying for the USMLE Step 1 or Step 2? Are you studying for the NCLEX or you're currently in nursing school as a nursing student? Are you a PA student currently in school or studying for your PANS exam? Or are you a nurse practitioner student or trying to take your MP board exam. Listen, I've got super awesome content for you. If you truly love this video and it simplified your learning process, I want you to check out my website below. I've listed out all the list of exam, whether you're studying for any of this board exam, and all I want you to do is click on the link right now below so that you can take you directly to my website. For USMLE, just go to smashusmle.com. For NCLEX, go to crushnclex.com. And if you're studying for the PANS exam, the nurse pr practitioner exam, or you're studying for your internal medicine board exam, just click below and it'll take you directly to ftplectures.com. Listen, I can't wait to help you. If you need to get in touch with me, just get to my website, you're able to reach me directly, and we can work together one-on-one. -on -one. Listen, you are super awesome, and my goal here is to help your dream come true. If you wanna be a doctor, wanna be a nurse practitioner, 
a registered nurse or physician assistant, I'm here to help you get to that next level. With your medical knowledge, let's save the world together. I love you guys. You guys are super awesome. And do not forget to click on the link below to be able to get to my website. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great day. Let's go.